Hi, this is Engineer Lair and this is a lesson about vectors. Okay, vectors. Ano ba yung vectors? Uh, meron tayong quantities sa uh, physics, sa uh, mechanics, sa uh, science. No? Meron tayong quantities na tinatawag na scalars at saka itong isa, vectors. Pag sinabing vector, it has both the magnitude at saka direction. Yung scalar only has magnitude. So, for example, yung mga scalar, kung ari, yung temperature, yung speed, distance. Now, pag sinabing vectors, it has both magnitude at saka direction. For example, we have this displacement and as you can see, the displacement here is written as 20 meters to the east. So, i-identify natin. 20 meters, yan ang magnitude. Gano'ng kalaki yung measurement. And then, to the east, yan yung direction. Saan nakaturo, saan papunta yung measurement natin. We also have uh, another vector. Meron tayong tinatawag na velocity. So, tingnan nyo to. 45 centimeters per second, that's the magnitude. And it is directed north 45 degrees west. Ito yung bearing niya. Okay, also... Uh, that is also the direction. These are examples of vectors and you will find out na maraming vectors sa, uh, sa mga studies natin, lalo na konektado, uh, we are an applied science course. Okay? Now, forces and a push or pull is also a vector. So, kung wari, meron akong 10 kN force it is directed in this direction, 20 degrees below the horizontal. So, this is an example of a graphical representation of vectors. May kita mo dito. We have the magnitude represented by yung haba ng arrow natin. Okay? The arrowhead points to the direction. And as you can see, naka-specify dito yung angle, which is the direction. So, this is how we uh, represent vectors graphically. Okay. Now, we have introduced what are vectors and what are scalars. Uh, let's go to what we call the addition of vectors. So, sa scalars, madali lang mag-add. ba Sa scalar, pwede kang mag-add. Kuhari, sasabihin mo 5 plus 3. Siyempre, Equal sa 8. So, sa vectors, medyo hindi madali mag-add. For example, naglakad ka ng 20 steps pa right and then naglakad ka ng 30 steps pa left. Ilan lahat ng uh, displacement mo? Of course, ang total na nilakad mo is 50 steps. But we are talking about the displacement or gano'ng kakalayo mula sa starting point mo and you will see na if I add these two vectors, okay, nag-add ako ng dalawang vector, 20 to the right and 30 to the left, I will find that the sum is, or the resultant in this case, is not equal to 50 na steps ang distance ko from my starting point, but it's actually uh, 10 steps away from my starting point and directed to the left of my starting point. So, iba yung pag-a-add natin sa vectors. We have here our first method of adding vectors. Uh, we call it the graphical addition. Uh, as you can see, kaya nating represent yung vectors at, as arrows. Kaya, graphical addition yung tawag dito. Kasi we make use of that property ng vectors. Pwede natin siyang i-drawing. Okay? I have here three vectors. A, B, and C. A is yung pinakamalaking vector and it's directed somewhat north of east. And B, we have directed somewhat uh, mga bandang west ng south. And then C is directed pa east. How do we add all of them? Okay, sa so graphical method, ganito ang gagawin. As you can see, nag-start ako kay A. Meron akong starting point and then, and then I applied vector A. Tapos, doon sa, sa head ni A, kinonek ko yung tail ni B. Okay? Kinopya ko yung B, kinonek ko. And then, kinonek ko si C. So, ikaw connect-connect mo lang yung drawing mo. And kailangan lang dito, ang importante, no, pag graphical yung way mo ng addition ng vectors, nakascale ka. Kailangan maganda yung scale mo. Ibig sabihin, sukat to. 
pati yung angles ng inclination nila, yung haba nila, para maging accurate yung sagot mo. So, after nun, nung nakonek-konek mo siya, natapos tayo dito sa point na to, yung end point natin. So, mula sa start point hanggang sa end point, i-connect mo siya, and that will be what we call the resultant. No? Pag nag a tayo ng vector, hindi natin sinasabing sum. Uh, sum is for scalars. Ang, ang result, kapag nag a ka ng vectors, okay, from the word itself, result, is the resultant. Okay? So, itong green na to, it's the resultant vector. As you can see here, that's the resultant vector or ito, no, yung nakalagay dito. Now, how to get the magnitude of that resultant vector? Ang gagawin mo, kukuha ka ng ruler, tapos susukatin mo yung haba niya. Tandaan, nung ginawa natin to, nakaskill tayo or may mga sukat tayong sinunod. So, kung anong masusukat mo dito, yun ang magnitude nung resultant vector natin. Paano naman yung direction niya? You can express it as an angle. Maaring kumuha ka ng protractor at kunin mo tong angle na to, let's say theta, at susukatin mo yan. Siyempre, uh, nakasalala yung accuracy ng method na to sa ganda ng drawing mo. No? Sa husay mong magsukat-sukat at gumamit ng ruler at protractor. Okay, so that's all for the introduction to vectors. Natuto tayo, natutunan natin kung ano ang pinagkaiba ng vectors at scalars. Nalaman din natin kung paano mag-add ng vectors although uh, we did it using uh, yung pinaka-basic way that is by drawing them. So, abangan nyo yung susunod na topic. That's all. Thank you. Like me video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike. Leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.